So we came down to the garden this morning and uh, we had a nice surprise. There was two sets of bear tracks going all the way around the garden here, the garden fence. And I'm um, probably trying to dig up into the compost back there, but I just couldn't find a way in. Uh, but we have some good tracks here, again going all the way around the, um, the fence. And here we have a double track. We have a track right here, which is the front track. And uh, you can recognize it very well. First, it's big. And it's about five inches across, uh, about three and a half um, long. And uh, you can recognize them pretty easily by the bean-shaped pad that's in the back here of um, the front track. And then you have the five toes. One, two, three, four, five right here. And then just in front of that, right here, is the hind track. And um, bears are two-legged, just like us, they're plenty grades. They walk on their, uh, the full length of their foot. And so you have the heel right there, and then the front pad, and then one, two, three, four, five toes again. And you can see the claw marks right there as well, just in front of the toes. And um, so that's what the bear does when he walks most of the time. And this is called an overstep, where they just put the front paw first and then they overstep with their hind. So the front and then hind comes across it. And then same thing here, get a front and a hind and a front and a hind. So they do that a lot. So that's also a pattern you can use to recognize bears. Though there's not much around, they will just have these big paws with their claws and five toes. So pretty exciting. The dog was pretty excited to just run around the fence trying to find a bear. Maybe next time we'll get to see them. So we'll add a couple more tracks and on our way back home. Uh, we have a snowshoe hare here, which is a rabbit and not a hare, like um, what their name says. And uh, mostly you can recognize the patterns in the snow. You have the two front paws way in the back and then the two back paws way in the front because uh, that's just the way they move. They just put their two front feet here and then they jump off and land a little further up. And uh, another way to really tell um, rabbit tracks is that you can uh, see J-shaped uh, toes. So like, you know, it starts here and then you have a front toe here, and then it backs up here, so it kind of does like a little J, like this. And so that's a good way to recognize rabbit track as well. They're fairly pointed. You can tell the toes are well, but they have four toes. And then they're called snowshoe hares because they can splay their back feet really wide just to be able to stay on top of the snow. And this is completely fresh snow from last night, so, you know, it was not hard enough to hold their weight even though they splayed their foot. But that's the reason why, you know, they have these snowshoe feet. Because if you look at their feet, really, they're not very wide, they're about that wide, but they can splay their toes, spread them out so that they have better support on the snow. And so you can see here, one, two, three, four toes. And they can jump fairly far, you know, so from here, they just went over there, you know, again, they just put their two front toes, and then push and jump, and uh, push from there, hind, fit as well and then land with their two feet further down and they can jump amazingly far because from here they actually jump all the way back there that's their next tracks and that's actually not a very long jump like they can go very very far in one jump um, and then it goes off into the woods there uh, and you can also tell when they stop in the snow because as long as they keep going you'll have the front front hinds but when they stop, they'll just put their front feet in front of them too. So you can tell when they stop, when you see their two hinds and then their front feet actually in front of their hind feet. So there you go, a little more tracking for you.